Reefing fam, what is going on March here? This is Fragbox TV. Look at this. The lights are off in the store. You know what that means. It is late at night and I'm here with my man Mike. What up Mike? What's up, guys? We are undoing, undoing, that's not the word, unloading. No, is that the word? What do you call it? What are we doing right now? Unpacking, unpacking, that's the word. We're unpacking a shipment of new corals from Indonesia and uh, hi, if you're new to the channel, this is a store, it looks really weird right now, it's a store that specializes in saltwater aquariums, typically lights are on, you can see all our lovely corals, but right now what we're doing is filling up this bed, this is an 8x3 coral flat, and we haven't had a shipment here in a very long time, COVID really messed up flights, we couldn't get flights from overseas, it was very very difficult, so what I'm going to do is start opening the bags one by one, and as I see really cool and interesting corals, I'm going to grab the camera, I'm going to stop and talk to you a little bit about them, like this one over here, this is a very cool Acanthostrea lordowensis, actually, I think the Latin name changed recently, that's a nice, really big colony, good candidate for fragging, some cool lobos that we just got in, these are very nice, unusual, golden, yellow, I haven't seen one like this in a long time. These are leather corals, so they look like nothing right now, but they're gonna open up beautifully tomorrow. So usually what I do is kind of an unpacking video like this as we go through them, and then tomorrow I'd like to do another one. Oh, what did we find here? Where do I put the mushrooms? Mushrooms, looks like, hmm, let's see. It's kind of hard to see, because they're closed right now. I think these are Yumas, yeah, these are Yumas. Yeah. So they look like trash. They're all deflated and pissed off. Tomorrow they're gonna look incredible. Same thing goes, you know. Those torches are already open. Yeah, torches, actually, this is really good. Just came out of the bag. Keep in mind, these have been in transit for three days. Very, very good. The water's clear, it's not funky, doesn't smell bad, and the temperature is just, just perfect. So I'm gonna put the camera down and I'm gonna start unpacking a little bit more. I just got excited. The reason why I picked it up was this right here, because I haven't seen this in a while. This is branching alveopora. So it's kind of like the goniopora. But I find it's a little bit easier to keep. They have fatter tentacles, and this is a branching variety of it. So looks like uh, you can kind of see there green polyps, maybe greenish white. Won't know until tomorrow. That is a cyanarina, I think. Yeah, you can go right here next to the open brain. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue working through these boxes. There is 199 new corals, so this tank should be more or less completely filled and it may spill over even into this one over here. Keep in mind again, it does look a little funky right now, the lights are off in the store, but we will check back in with you, Reefing Fam, very shortly. Guys, check this out, this is an amazing assortment. Beautiful array of open brain corals. So that is the, hmm, what is that called, Latin name? Trachyphilia Joffrey, I think, but really nice colors, beautiful size, super healthy. Oh, you can see here, they do ship them with a little bit of carbon, um, just because they slime up during shipping. But these look excellent. I can tell you from experience they're going to look even better tomorrow. Really cool colors. Check this guy out. Some black, red, green, blue. Very, very nice pieces. Nice nice sizes too. Good good, uh, good array of different sizes. This is going to be, this one's going to be enormous. Just for reference, it's like, I don't know, three and a half, four inches without being open. So when it opens, it's probably going to be about double that because they inflate with water. A really, really nice open brain pulse. What else we got here? Let's see. Uh, we're just working through some nice torches. Torch. This looks like it is maybe a frog spawn. Frog spawn or hammer. It's kind of hard to tell when they are closed up like this. They're retracted. Ooh, that's pretty sweet. Blastomusa. Nice mushrooms. Okay, I'm going to keep working and we'll get back to you. Okay, okay, it's looking good. Let me give you a little update here. So far, we're more than halfway through. Not even one DO, not one DOA, right? One? Not even one. Super, super clear. Everything's coming out looking incredible. Uh, I couldn't be happier with this order. The amount of torch we got, I don't I don't really remember ordering this much torch. Check this out. That's a lot of torch. Frog spawn, camera, ton of euphilia, and some cool varieties I've never seen before. My eyes are keep getting drawn back to this one here. It's kind of like black and gold on the tips. And same with this. This is incredible, or it will be incredible. Very, very cool. What else can I show you? The plate corals. Bam. Awesome size. Awesome color. And then these tomorrow are going to be just stunning. These are going to be the stars of the show. Acanthophilias. Check this one out. Super healthy. This one. Which one did you hand me, Mike, that was uh, dry? This green one? That green one. Yeah, this one actually came dry, so popped the bag. Two day shipping, zero water. Basically just staying moist. This is a blue Yuma, which is pretty cool. Over here, some Ican enchinata. Oh, the Blastomusas. 
closed, but going to be incredible. I can already tell. I'm seeing some varieties here, like this one, that I've never seen before. Look at this, kind of like gold, purple. Very nice. Okay, we're gonna keep working through it, and we will see you soon. Now we're talking, check it out, almost full. Should have, if I can do a little sidetrack regret of the day, I should have ordered more because um, I thought it was gonna spill over into this tank over here. As you can see, we got one box left. This is, it'll probably fill this up. Oh, what is this? Hello. A little slimy. Oh, that might be the first DOA of the day. See that slime okay, coming off there? Uh, Not a good sign. Oh, you don't want to see that it ever. Bad. It smells bad? Pretty bad. It yeah. smells like shit? Yeah, that's not good. But I, I could have ordered more. I should have because I don't think we're... Uh, no, let's leave it. I could have filled this up. You see, I got another six by three bed here, but it's okay. We're not going to live with regrets. We're going to be very happy for the incredible, incredible shipment we got in. Can't wait to do tomorrow's video as everything pops up. Check this out over here. There's a long tentacle plate coral. And the pattern is just insane. It looks fake. Looks like it has been painted on the mushroom. Oh, look at this. The blastos already opening up. Very cool mushrooms. Mushrooms, discosomas. This is the easiest to keep sort of mushroom. Disco mushrooms. That is wild. Some Yuma's, lots of Rhodactus. So Indonesia is known for the Rhodactus. Some Cyphastria, Indonesia Fabia, Acans. Like I said, tons of Eucalia. These are gonna all be hopefully open tomorrow. And then we are gonna have to frag most of them. Oh, there's another one. Mike's adding one more to the collection. Uh, they are quite expensive to get them over here. So to sell them here as a colony, it really just doesn't make sense from a business standpoint. We need to cut them into heads. And to be honest, they, like if I were to sell a colony of Golden Hammer like this, it would run three to 400. It's not gonna sell very quick, but I noticed that as we cut smaller heads, people are happy to buy the frags. And I think that's part of the hobby and part of the enjoyment is growing them out and farming them. And I think people would rather buy, you know, four or five different colors of hammers and individual heads instead of you know sort of one larger piece that's just what i see that's the trend here in canada at least i'm not sure where you're watching the video from maybe you want to comment below i know that we have a lot of viewers in the us oh another very cool acan enchanada i'm gonna give this guy a little bit more space than that because he's quite expensive and as you can see he's touching a trumpet so i'm gonna take you twist a trumpet da -da -da -da. stick him over here for now if it looks a little funny like i said lights are off in the store everything's off we should be in bed right now but we're not we're here sharing this with you so this is my job right now it's just kind of positioning pricing so if you're gonna come in and you want to see this stuff how do we know what the pricing is it takes us I want to say about half a week maybe two three days to kind of work through organize who's alive who's getting fragged and kind of get stuff orderly in row um, with pricing so if you come in this weekend you can see the stuff you may not be able to buy it right away uh, if I'm here I will try to price stuff out, but it takes, we gotta calculate our losses. So even though they all look good now, some of them may perish within the next day or two, which is unfortunate. It's just sort of the way the road bud, it's the way she goes. And from that, I'm able to calculate what they cost us and then we can figure out how much to sell them for. But it's a little bit of an art that goes into it. Oh, what's that? Look at that nice big one. Lobo, 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 Lobo. Lobo. We haven't had Lobos in a very long time. Very aggressive coral. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this massive rock. Check this thing out, of mushrooms. I would love to sell this as a whole. If someone has a very big, very large aquarium, you can see the size of it. That's probably about a foot across. I always prefer to sell stuff like this um, instead of fragging it. Like the Lobo, would love to sell it like this. I know, just from experience, it's probably gonna get fragged up because you can cut the heads of Lobos like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe 10. This is cool. This is an elegance girl. This cannot be fragged. And this is going to be a stunner. I can't wait to see that thing open tomorrow. These, I think, are... Do we know what these are? Sinarinas? Something? More torch. Who the hell ordered all this torch? No room. Uh, okay, I'm going to put the camera down and I'm going to play with these a little longer. Okay, guys, that's it. They are all in. They're looking great. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like the content, give us one of these, subscribe. We do these as often as we can, uh, once every couple days. We used to do every day. We're busy in the store right now, but you guys get the point. Um, come back and check it out. Actually, if you're local and you wanna see it, come on the weekend. So tonight is Thursday night. 
I would not recommend coming Friday. Give them some time to open. And then maybe by Saturday, Sunday, we'll have a chance to price them out. Or if you want to come, you know, if you see a hammer like this and you want, you know, one head, we're happy to cut it um, on the spot. You can look at that. Two days already open. Thanks for watching, guys. This episode of Frag Box TV.